So let's graph the equation y equals 1 minus x. We'll use a table of values first, then we'll do slope-intercept form quickly afterwards. Table of values. I'm going to put values in for x, get a value for y. We'll graph those points. So you can choose any numbers. I like to start with 0 for x because 1 minus 0 is just 1. Let's use 1. 1 minus 1, that's 0. How about 2? 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So these are the points we're going to graph. You can choose anything, but this is going to fit on our graph, so that's kind of nice. So we go to the x is 0, y is 1. x is 0, y is 1. That's our first point. x is 1, y is 0. And then x is 2, y is negative 1. So x is 2, y is negative 1. And you see they all line up there. So this is the graph for y equals 1 minus x. Let's put a line through that. We'll put arrows to show that this goes to infinity, and that's our graph for y equals 1 minus x. You can put any values in for x, you'll get a value for y, it's going to be on our line. Let's try it with slope-intercept form. So I'm going to rearrange this. Right now we have 1 minus x, but I'd like minus x plus 1. Because now we're in slope-intercept form. Y-intercept, that's 1. So we go to the y-intercept, and at 1, here's the y-axis, at 1 we put a point. Now for the slope, let's call this, there's a 1 in front of the x, so let's call it negative 1. And if we call it negative 1 over 1, then we can just call it rise over run. So normally what we would do is we'd rise 1 and run 1. But we have this negative here. So instead of rising 1, we're actually going to go down 1, run 1. Then we'll go down one, run one, and you can keep doing that. Down one, run one, and you can see we end up with the very same graph as we got before. That makes sense. It's the same equation. So that's it. That's how you graph the equation y equals 1 minus x. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.